before you watch the video like our channel subscribe it and click on the bell icon for notifications hi today we are going to learn about the points which are collinear or not so here verify whether the points 1 comma 5 2 comma 3 and uh, minus 2 comma minus 1 are collinear or not so if you look what is a collinear we all know that the points which lie on the same line the points which lie on the same line are said to be the collinear points so here I have taken the points like uh, na and named them as uh, a that is 1 comma 5 as a and uh, 2 comma 3 as b and uh, minus 2 comma minus 1 uh, on the as a c so here if you observe these points are uh, just have uh, taken let's let's think that these are collinear like a b c so in this case then how to know fine first of all let's take the uh, condition like we know means in the line segment measuring the line segment also we have seen that uh, a to b the length from a to b and b to c that means uh, it is a b segment a b it means from length a to b and segment b c it is from length b to c so if you add that that should be equals to a c segment a c so that uh, then we can say that these points are in collinear so let us see here let us find the distance uh, between these two points from a to b and b to c then after a to c so here i uh, i just um, take points like uh, a b now i take the points a b it is uh, x1 y1 and now x2 y2 so already we have learned the distance between the two points that is a uh, x1 uh, under root of x1 x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square right so let me apply the same here under root so okay x2 that is 2 minus 1 that is x1 x2 minus x1 whole square plus next y2 that is 3 minus 5 whole square okay so it uh, it it is nothing that uh, uh, under root 2 minus 1 is 1 that is 1 square and uh, plus 3 minus 5 is minus 2 minus 2 whole square so the square of a negative also becomes a positive that is 4 so it's equals to root 5 so the distance from a to b we got as a root 5 let us see the distance from b to c now so here b c so, so in b c again what i do is i take this as a uh, x1 and this as y1 and uh, then this is taken as x2 and uh, y2 so in that case uh, that is uh, x2 minus x1 that is minus 2 minus 2 whole square plus y2 is minus 1 minus y1 y1 is 3 So what happened this is that uh, it means uh, minus 2 minus 2 whole square that is minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 whole square it becomes 16 so 16 plus minus 1 plus minus 3 it is minus 4 
whole square again it is 16 so under root of 32 under root of 32 it's very clear uh, that is 4 root 2 4 root 2 now let us check the AC here in this AC again uh, this is x1 and this is y1 and here this is uh, same x2 and y2 so let me find the distance between AC now yeah AC it, uh, that is x2 x2 minus x1 that is uh, minus 2 minus uh, 1 whole square plus y2 is minus 1 minus 5 is y1 so here if you see minus 2 minus 1 is uh, minus 3 whole square minus 3 whole square it's nothing that uh, 9 plus minus 1 minus 5 minus 6 whole square is equals to 36 so it's nothing very clear under root 45 So under root 45, it means so uh, 9 fives. 9 fives is nothing that this is 3 root 5 units. So this is uh, root 5 units, and this is uh, 4 root 2 units, and this is 3 root 5 units. So if it satisfies this condition, that is. UAB plus BC is equals to AC then we can say that these points are in collinear let us check then whether the point satisfies the condition or not ok so here AB I got as root 5 plus and uh, BC it is uh, 4 root 2 is equals to 3 root 5 sorry so this uh, this is not satisfied so my assumption like AB and uh, that ABC are in collinear according to the diagram is not right so I can say very clearly that points like uh, 1 comma 5 2 comma 3 and and minus 2 comma minus 1 are not collinear points are not collinear points so this is what how do we check using the distance formula so children please just uh, you just remember whenever they ask with the given points are collinear or not you just check like uh, take the name the points uh, one as A and another as B and another C so if they uh, take the condition that AB plus BC equals to AC if this condition satisfies then we can say that the points are collinear if not they are not collinear points thank you